Uh, good evening. So uh, I'm coming to share a dream I had last night. Um, in my dream, I saw I saw I was standing in a field, in a very big green field, and I saw uh, there was a very big airplane, and um, it had a it had a flags on it like United Kingdom flag on the airplane. Uh, I saw I don't know how but I was talking to Emmanuel Macron, the president of France. I was telling him to go to talk to um, to the to the crew of the airplane. But he he didn't want to go. He told me um, he didn't want to go. But I told him you are the president of the EU, so go talk to them. But he didn't want to go to engage or to be involved in whatever was going on. Uh, I don't know. I saw the airplane taking off. It was um, you know it was driving uh, on the runway, you know, the piece to the runway, but the, ru the runway was very short. Uh, so the airplane took off very suddenly, you know, because uh, the runway was very short and um, it went, you know, in the air and I heard my, my dad's voice telling me this airplane is about to crash. I was hoping that it will not crash, but I saw the airplane, you know, going down and it crashed and it, I heard the voice telling me, look how this airplane almost crashed your son. I saw my, um, my youngest son was, uh, was there and the airplane came and it almost crashed on his head but um, somehow he, he was protected and um, but when I walked like beyond the field I saw there were like a very big space and I asked myself why this um, this pilot didn't want you know to um, to use the other space you know to have uh, enough runway to taking off. Instead, he went to use a very short runway. And now, look, the airplane has crashed, you know. So I woke up, uh, and that dream, I felt like it was very meaningful. And uh, I felt like that dream was coming from God. So, um, well, I uh, I spent whole day thinking about the dream, and uh, I just now believe in my heart that um, because the airplane had a United Kingdom flags on it, uh, it um, it means you know the NATO alliance to me. You know, United Kingdoms, if you define it, is just United and Kingdoms. United Kingdom is like United Nations, United States, you know. It gives sense, right? It's like United States, United Kingdoms. Um, and, um, you know, United Kingdoms, the, the, the Great Britain, the, I mean, the United Kingdoms now uh, has already um, exit from EU, Un European Union, but it still um, is a member, is a member in, um, in NATO alliance, uh, like in the force army of NATO, of EU, if you want. Uh, EU is like just financial and stuff and, you know, um, uh, and this NATO is army and defense. So, so uh, the United Kingdom itself is still in the NATO alliance. And um, if it 
it can be uh it gives sense i understand that um the eu uh, uk i'm sorry uk um may represent in this dream of mine it may represent uh the west alliance the west block if you want uh it may represent um um the uh, the, the 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 english empire the british empire which is united states included uh, as we all know uh, it's um it was colonized by uh, by british and um the the english we speak is from british i mean from from great britain you know so um and actually we are talking about west block and we are talking about nato and all these wars going around so um so the airplane and they saw the crew was doing this to me you know so meaning they loved like they liked all the way we had um this type of friendship kind of relationship uh that's why i was wanting it to fly you know uh and i talked to emmanuel macron and they told him to go to talk to the crew like to, to to the plane to the pilot to you know and it looks like there were tensions going around so i don't i didn't realize they didn't know what was going on but emmanuel macron told me he he doesn't want to go and they told him you are the eu president so that means uh he had some type of power on them meaning it's the eu block or nato block you know nato block you know um so uh and if you can uh you can um you can um understand you know uh emmanuel macron has been involved in this crisis going on uh like before the uh, the russia invade uh ukraine but since then he doesn't talk too much again you know he doesn't talk too much he france has not been you know has not been on the front line of of uh sanction Ning, you know Russia so you can all hear Bo I mean UK Boris Johnson and um UK even Germany was not even you know he was not jumping you know in helping Ukraine but now he, uh, Germany has tried to help um but we can see a uh, UK is very engaged you know in this um sanctions and stuff and uh when we talking about uk for me i'm talking about united states cause uh on european soil soil uh so the the biggest ally uh of um uh or partner of us is 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 the uk so um also that's why i can understand this dream this may involve us as you know united states and um that's why so when the plane you know was going down it almost hurts my son because my son we all live we all live here in us so that means uh the consequences of whatever was going on it almost hurts me or hurting my son was like hurting me and it means it came to my to my to hurt my family you know so that means we are talking about united states because you know we all here you know um and uh like this is our home now and um all our families and friends and you know everything we have here you know so um so in this dream uh i saw this airplane so the voice i was hearing it was like my dad's voice but i can you know bring you like you know the representation of of uh father power you know what i mean and we all have one father is our god who is in heaven and and that means that uh he was telling me this plane we we go down so we all know that you know how powerful nero is you know it's the biggest alliance ever been you know uh since the old you know now we can't even imagine nato being brought down 
by who you know you are like by who russia or you know china so you are like thinking like this can't be you know but god is telling us when when we are talking about even united states uh in prophecy or this alliance in prophecy and we all expecting uh the the prophecy of the antichrist being fulfilled so the antichrist is not um in NATO alliance, you know, so NATO has to go down for the now the alliance of the Antichrist to be raised up. So uh, very quickly, uh, so in this dream I saw the airplane taking off on a very short uh, runway. Now the so the pilots couldn't, you know, the airplane didn't run enough, so the uh, uh, the, the the pilots pulled pulled up, you know, the the airplane, you know. On not enough speed or whatever you know so now the airplane went down meaning you know you, you NATO had um, a lot of opportunities you know um, and um, a lot of lands a lot of opportunities all over the places but now NATO um, when I'm talking about this dream I know a lot of people uh, are not you know um, having the same opinion as mine and that's 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 fine but i'm not talking about politics i'm not a politician you know i'm trying to understand the times and the signs of the end times so uh, i'm not supporting russia or i'm not supporting you know nato just for the reason that i'm um, you know uh, i have all reasons to support nato but uh, I'm not supporting that because we all know our kingdom is not of this world. And mine too is not of this world. Whatever, you know, people may say, I don't care about it. But what I'm talking about here, I'm, talk I'm talking about spiritual matters. So um, NATO, you know, um, getting closer to Ukraine uh, and that also was a block was that was the short way you know the short runway getting closer ukraine is the last country on on the east going east before the end of the runway so it was just ukraine and they couldn't they can't even go far because russia the next country east to ukraine is russia now the next country west to Ukraine is Poland and these countries, you know, these NATO countries. So just wanting to grab Ukraine to join the alliance, that is the, the, the dead end of NATO. And this crisis will bring uh, the UK airplane down, meaning the United Kingdoms, meaning the West Bloc, meaning the British English speaking empire, meaning even the United States. Uh, and that will crash and will hurt a lot of people. And a lot of people will be hurt. Thanks God, you know, I heard the voice. And now I believe because I saw the plane coming down and it almost hurt my son. But I also noticed that there were a lot of space where, you know, the airplane could take off, you know, on a very long runway without, you know, having all this trouble. So meaning NATO had a lot of opportunities all around, but they just wanted to take the risk, you know, to take the risk, get that word, to take the risk of something that was not worth it you see so uh and that was uh what i saw in my dream so people uh you know all things we see is showing and all things that we are hearing is showing you know the the the, the russian you know not doing well and all things we see is, you know, the failure of this invasion. But for me, what I can tell you, there are other things we don't see. 
there are other things playing in spiritual. There are other things playing in secret. And what I'm telling you, don't be surprised if at the end of this conflict, the NATO alliance will be weaker than ever. Okay? Don't be surprised if this conflict will bring war to our streets, will bring consequences to our home and our families. Don't be surprised if the NATO alliance will crash down by what we see as a very weak failure fight from the Russians. And what I'm seeing here is not about Russia, it's not about NATO, it's about the end times. Because all these leaders, whether they're Americans, NATO, they don't believe in God. You have to know that. You have to know that. They don't work for God. Whether it's the president of US or the president of Germany or the president of France or whatever prime minister of UK or president of Russia, they all work for the world, for the principalities of the darkness world led by the devil himself. So all these, there, he's just playing around his whatever, his players, and now he he's about to bring his son, and his son is the Antichrist. So the big leader of them is about to coming up. So all those have to go down for him to raise up. So all these nations are just fighting, hurting themselves. And then at the end of the day, the devil will be the winner for them. But just to let you know, church, uh, to know the matter of the spirit, to know the things God is thinking of, to know the things that you should know. Because you're not of this world to be like watching a soccer or football match, this team and this team. Oh, they're making points. They're making, oh, this point. No, it's not about that. We have to think spiritually. We have to think spiritual matters as spiritual people. So uh, God bless and uh, let's continue praying and praying for our families. And uh, be watching, be sanctifying, living sanctification. You know, on the cleansing blood of Jesus, cleans our souls and our whole body and spirit, uh, our families, our friends, our co-workers, our extended families, our fellow Christians all over the world. And may the all glory and power and reign be to our God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And all peace to his people. Amen.